Vernon P. from Paul Grandpa. I already know what that is. <laughs> yes, so before we get started, y'all know what time it is. What time is it, brother? Man, it's time for that Candice Candy Talk Tuesday. Yes, he with it. <laughs> he with it. So, Candice is brother from another man this is my already, homie already yeah so brother what happened? last week we started the um the theme in the series we we're talking about um getting in your own way like how we can be our own hindrances and keep our ourselves from progressing um what you think about it well i feel like okay as everybody you know go through life they feel, some people feel as they can do things themselves, um, take on a situation themselves, and they just pretty much get in their own way of other blessings, of other people helping them out. Because mm -hmm. you always need a village to help. Mm. You can't do things on your own. And um, you're always going to want for help. You know, uh, that goes with stubbornness. Uh, it can be selfish. You know, that, all that stuff play a part of getting in your way and your blessings are blocked. You want to do this, you want to do that. But everything seems to, you get a, a, a step forward and five steps back because you think you can do it on your own. You know, you don't want any handouts. You think you can just take care of everything. So you got to let self go. You know mm. what I'm saying? You got to let self go. You got to you gotta have this relationship with God. You got to understand, okay, I'm here. I need help, God. I need, I, need, uh, I need this. I need that. Whatever the situation may be that you need. Okay, uh, you go to God in prayer, or you know, and He would send someone uh, to help, you know, whatever the need is. Uh, and then you just take, like I say, you take self out your way, and boom, you know, you 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 start opening, you start opening doors that you never thought would happen. Oh, I got this car. I never thought I could meet this car. Oh, I got this house. I got a two mm. uh, five bedroom. I never thought I'd get a five bedroom house. I thought I'd do it on my own. You know, you won't be stuck in this one little place. Because of self. Wow. Because you're in the way of what God has planned for you mm. in your future. So you have to learn how to let go mm. and let God. Ooh, but God, y'all hear him preaching. So pretty much, like, brother, what you're saying is how everybody's so stuck on this. I did this, I did that, I did that. What you said is to take a village. Like, basically, that's what we talk about with surrounding yourself with the type of people, not for from for your past, but for where you're going, for your future, like where you trying to go. Right. And that's that same saying. Everybody cannot go with you to where God is taking you. Everybody ain't meant to go to that next level with you because some people are hindrances and they serve as blockages and they basically feed that negativity or feed their past. Like mm -hmm. our used to be. Like I used to be a used to be. We got people that feed that is pretty much what I feel my brother's trying to say. Like we got people that feed that side of us, but when we're trying to get to new levels, our mindset has to change. And once our circle change that matches that mindset, then we on go. We on go. Right, brother, we on go. go. Sometimes you gotta you got friends, you have to leave them behind. Because they can't, like she said, go where you go. You have to leave them behind. And they can come with you or they can stay where they at. Dang. You know, so. I definitely feel that. And y'all know what time it is. It's time for my little spiel, my little piece. Let's do it. And last week I was talking about how, you know what I'm saying, like the place I was in before I really like tapped into it and really started praying and like, yo, I cannot stay stuck in this place. Like, God, I need you. Can't do it on my own, right? So last week I left off by telling y'all the story of how my transformation and healing began. Started to tell y'all how it started at the push of a pen. Explain how keeping all that stuff in was killing me slowly and had me in my own way. So listen as I let y'all in on a little more today. Pushing my pen and praying again. Pushing my pen and writing out my pain and struggles within. My struggles with kin or fickle friends. Let's not forget about the man within. Struggles with the in crowd. So much confusion and chaos. It's just too loud. I can't think straight. Mind filled with trouble so much more began to transpire as I kept pushing my pen. Gotta push past the pain, torment I feel within. Push past the cycle of dealing with using ass, manipulative ass, lying ass men. See, the whole entire time God was standing by my side like I was in the delivery room. Push, ironically, like you pushed to get the children you bore out. 
See, right there, you too had to experience an unfamiliar, unmeasurable amount of pain. So you knew not to stop pushing until that baby was out. Push this pen and give birth to that dream, that goal mission you want to complete. Push until your veins are no longer constricted. Push until gems begin to flow. Push until the pressure bursts that pipe. Keep pushing until the diamonds come out just right. Mm. Push the pen until the end becomes the end. So basically what I'm saying is I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep pushing past all the pain, the hurt, mm -hmm. the turmoil. All of that is serving as a catalyst for my purpose and it's in my pen. Listen, it's in my pen, so I'm going to keep pushing. My story is still going. I'm just rewriting my narrative. Brother. Yes. So, like, what's your take? Like, what you feel now, like, after the, the um spill with the poem? Listen, you pretty much said it all by pushing. You know, you got to be consistent in what you do. You got to push hard. You got to strive hard. You got to have a mindset. Hey, I want to do better. I want to do, you know, do better in life. I'm, I'm tired of being stuck here. I want to go here instead of being here. Um, just keep pushing, push through the pain, push through the struggle. You're going to struggle. Everybody struggle. You think when you pray, it's not, it's not, it's not a magic trick. He's going to test you. Ooh. So you're going to go through some trials and tribulations, if you will. And you're going to struggle. But that's a test from God to see if you want to pass it. Because he want to see if you for real about, okay, you want to do this, you want to do that. You prayed about this, he's going to, he's going to see, he's going to test you. Mm. Okay. So it's all about pushing through. The, the, the struggle, through the pain, through the storm, everything. Just keep pushing and know that God is a God of man. He's a man of his word. He, you put God first. He's going to he's gonna, he's gonna bring you out. You may, not, you may not know it. You may not see it with your natural eye. He may not come when you want him to come, but he's always what? On, On time. time. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't I, come here to preach. Okay? <laughs> but, um, <laughs> <laughs> that push. There he go. What you say? Push. Push. Push, push, I, push, you got to, push, push, you got to, push, you got to, push, 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 on to greatness. Yes, okay? We are not the same as we were back then. We are changing because our mindset is changing. So please do mm -hmm. not get offended if we are not hanging around the same people or texting and talking to the same people because new mindset. And the only way is... Circle. Uh, uh, ooh, ooh. And it's stuck. I killed them with that one. Yeah, you killed them, brother. Mm -hmm. And it's stuck. So, listen. I hate for y'all to go. But we gotta leave. Hey, we gotta leave. Oh, we gotta leave. And we, and we, and we. Mm, 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 mm.